everybody, Rachel here. Welcome to Done Dirt Cheap Makeup. And today we're going to be looking at the new Rimmel London Provocalypse 16 Hour Kiss Proof Lip Color. I did pick up four of the shades they have to offer. I believe there was eight or 10 in the line, don't quote me. I just picked up the colors that appealed to me. They did have a red shade. A couple of their shades, um, their nude ones anyways, on the outside looked really brown toned. So I skipped on those and I stuck mainly with the pink tones that are usually kind of a safe shade to go with. I did try this shade yesterday in I'll Call You. It's kind of a berry shade, it's really pretty, but I couldn't do a review yesterday because I didn't put it on till about three o'clock in the afternoon. And I did wear it till about eight o'clock and I have to say I was really happy with the results from three to eight. Uh, today I'm gonna try it out a little bit longer so we can see uh, the end result. I am going to be doing lip swatches of these. I do have my Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover because once these are on your lips, like they're stuck there pretty much. I mean, at least for me yesterday when I tried from three to eight o'clock when I went to take it off, like it was still pretty much fully on my lips. The first shade I'm gonna be trying on is number 120 Pucker Up and it just looks like a baby pink here in the tube, so we'll see. I have swatched these and one of the lighter shades did have sparkle in it, oh, and this is it. So let's see how it goes. Ooh, it's sparkly, but it sure is pretty. I'm trying to blow on my own lips to make them dry. So here's the shade uh, 120 Pucker Up. What do you guys think? Um, I'm kind of liking it. I didn't think I would like this shade, but it's super pretty. I'm surprised. The next lightest shade I'm going to try on is called Dare to Pink, number 110. And if you see here in the packaging, they're really similar, except the first one I tried on has sparkle and this one doesn't. I have to say, guys, I really like the first one I tried on. That was freaking awesome, and I didn't think I was gonna like that one. But anyways, okay, the next one is Dare to Pink, and let's see how this one looks. Uh, keep in mind this last shade I did try on did leave a little bit of glitter behind, but I'm not worried about it because these are pretty opaque and seem to cover up my uh, uh, pigmented lips. So here we go. Okay, I know I kind of overdo it. I just want to make sure that it's fully on there opaque. And here is Dare to Pink. Um, I have to say I really like this color too. It's such a pretty, just kind of everyday pink color. I really like these. I really like the colors. So I'm hoping they wear as good as the other ones. So the third shade I picked up is called I'll Call You and it's a really pretty berry color. I feel like it comes off a little bit deeper than you see here in the packaging, but is pretty close. So let's go ahead and try this on and um, see how it goes. Uh, you see it's really pigmented and these are glossy without even putting this um, second part on. I'm not putting the second part on when I'm swatching these just because like they stay on your lips and I want to show you guys and get them off as fast as possible. So, But they do look the same. Um, this just adds a little bit extra gloss. These do have a little bit of gloss on their own. So they look the same. Whoa, I'm getting this guy all over. So here we have I'll Call You. Um, it's not the most um, perfect application, but you get a good idea what the color looks like, so. And the very last shade I have to show you guys, this is also the shade I'm going to do uh, the test with throughout the day, just because it's darker and I wanna make sure you guys can pick it up and see it on camera. So that's why I chose this shade. And this is in number 310, Little Minx. So let's see how this goes. I'm gonna take my time applying this because we all know how um, hard it can be to apply deeper colors, especially without a lip liner. So here goes. And I'm already screwing up, nice. Oh, there we go, what do you guys think? I do have to wait for it to dry to put the balm over top, so 
but this is pretty much what it's going to look like because it's super glossy right now. So I haven't applied the balm side yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, the balm side is really, um, it's a really thick balm. It's kind of like if they stuck Vaseline uh, in the tube and that's what you're putting on your lips. And as far as smell, it has a good smell, um, but a different smell. It's kind of good, but then there's kind of something weird about it. But I don't mind it and you can't smell it when it's on your lips. So let's go ahead and apply the balm. So that's what it looks like with the balm on, just super glossy. Of course, the gloss does wear down as you as the day goes on, but um, we'll see how it goes. I did really enjoy this color yesterday and the way it wore. I was really surprised, but today we're going to get it to the test even longer. So. picked up you know what I really like all of them I think my favorite one just because it really shocked me was the first one the sparkly one I think it was this one I think it was was it dare to pink no it was not this one it was the sparkly one is called pucker up this one is so pretty it's just like a, it does have shimmer and glitter in it but you can't feel it on lips it's just so reflective and brightens up your face. I was really surprised with this one because when swatched on the back of my hand, it kind of looked um, kind of not watery, but not very opaque and just more like a clear gloss with sparkle, with maybe a little bit of pink, but this one was really pretty. Um, let me show you guys some hand swatches real quick. Color swatch on my hands, obviously. Here's that first shade I tried on, the one with the sparkle in it. As you can see, uh, it kind of looks um, kind of watered down, not super opaque, but on the lips, it's gorgeous. It's uh, probably one of my favorite. Um, I like them all, so it's hard to say. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let the testing begin. It is 11.54, and I'll check back with you guys in a couple hours and let you know how, I, how it's wearing. I am going to the mall and to movie and stuff with my daughter. So Hi everybody, so I'm back with my first checkup. It is now 2.05, so it's just been a little over two hours. I did have lunch and some water to drink and I feel like my lipstick has not moved. I feel like it looks just as fresh as it did when I first applied it. And it um, still feels really nice on the lips. Like this isn't uncomfortable to wear like the um, CoverGirl Outlast I don't know, I think those were 24 hour lip stains, or not stains, but um, lipsticks that have the extra bombs that comes with them. Um, this feels so much more comfortable than those. Um, so far, like, I'm loving it. Like, it just feels so nice on the lips for being such a long wear lip product and the kind that you kind of paint on and it, you know, adheres like paint wood on your lips. It feels really nice for what it is. So, so far, so good. Um, I did change my shirt, so don't think this is a different day or something. This is the same day. Hi guys, so I'm back for my last checkup. It is now 8.13 p.m. I've had this lipstick on for over eight hours now. And to be honest, like I cannot believe that it's still on my lips this good. And here's why. I had lunch, then I had an ice cream cone with my daughter. Then uh, we went and saw a movie. Then we came back and we had Mexican food. I had fajitas with sour cream, guacamole, you know, the greasy onions and chicken that, you know, you have to eat like a taco. It's not the um, neatest thing to eat. And then on top of that, I had a margarita. Yes, I had a margarita. Without a straw, I did drink from the cup, you know, with the salt all around the rim. I worked my way around. And I still cannot believe my lipstick was on this good because I was wiping my mouth with a napkin and all that. So it's like this stuff is amazing. I am giving these a rave review. I honestly cannot believe um, 
for one, that they stayed on my lips this long. For two, how comfortable they feel on my lips. And three, they just, even when they wear off slightly, there's a tiny bit of wear right here in the traffic area of my mouth. But I mean, it still looks good. I could still get away, you know, I'm sure this would stay on my lips another, I don't know, five hours. Um, but I, this is the last time I'm going to be checking in with you guys just because it's getting, not late, but it's getting later in the evening. So I just, I don't feel a reason to. I mean, if you go out and you want a long-lasting lip color, these are going to be your best friend. They feel comfortable. The only time I they started feeling a little bit drying is when I um, didn't apply the balm part for almost four hours and I could kind of feel it getting a little bit dry, but it wasn't like insanely uncomfortable or anything. These are actually more comfortable than a lot of just everyday lipsticks that aren't even long lasting. So I'm super pleased with these. Rimmel really knocked it out of the park with these. In fact, they're so awesome and I'm gonna go pick up the other colors and I will do a part two of these. I liked them that much so you guys can see what the other colors look like on the lips as well. So I'm just showing you guys a close up of my lips after over eight hours of wear. Um, just right here, on my bottom lip near the center wore off a tad bit but as you can see it still looks really nice. That's all I have to say about these. I will be posting another video with the other colors and swatches so you can see. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.